The number of kids looking to be adopted in Kentucky continues to grow each year, and there is dire need for adoptive and foster parents. November is National Adoption Awareness Month, and here to tell us more about how you can help or get involved is Erin Endicott. Thank you for being with us, Erin. Thank you. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about kind of what um, the big push is for National, uh, uh, National Adoption Awareness Month? Um, I guess, is there anything different you guys do in the month of November? or Well, we come on TV yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and try to, to tell people about our children and the need for fostering and adoption. Um, there are um, 8,000 children with the goal of adoption and foster care mm -hmm. um, at this time and about 1,700 um, excuse me, 1,700 with the goal of adoption, about 300 that are available for adoption now. Um, and it seems like the numbers just keep growing. Um, we see the kids in our office all the time that, that need a, a committed parent. Mm -hmm. um, and so it really is a good time for us to, to push to the public. Um, just a reminder that there are children out there, children that you see every day that are in schools with our children or go to church with our children, um, that a lot of those, those children are in need of a loving and committed home. Now we know that it's it's Adoption Awareness Month, but parents they can also be foster parents too. Mm -hmm. so yes, we have a foster care program, mm -hmm. foster and adoption, and um, it's a five week program. It used to be ten, so it's we've lowered it. The state's okay. lowered it to five. It's mm -hmm. a little bit easier for families um, to commit to. Uh, with five weeks and in an informational meeting, they can be approved um, if they meet the minimum you know requirement mm -hmm. to become foster parent, and that is you know age, financial. Uh, stability and, and things like that, mm -hmm. um, that they can become a foster parent. Now, I guess if somebody wants to adopt a child or become a foster parent, how do they go about that? Where, who, who would, they, would they contact? Yeah, they could contact the state. Um, our SNAP website at the Cabinet for Health and Family Services has a mm -hmm. website. Um, and then they can contact their local uh, Cabinet for Health and Family Services. In Fayette County, we have a training team. I think they, they're putting the number on the screen maybe for that. Um, but if not, I can tell you. <laughs> sure, on. I think it is up there. Okay. Yep. <laughs> um, so the, in Fayette County, they can mm -hmm. do that. But if any surrounding counties can call Fayette, and we can get them pushed in the right direction. Okay. Now you were saying that you don't have any um, specific event coming up right yet, but you do have. What is it called? We have SNAP, SNAP events, events okay. um, and and they're kind of periodically around um, the year, and that SNAP is Special Needs um, Adoption Program, um, and so those are children that are available for adoption right now. There's a website that they have pictures, um, and if anyone is interested, they can contact the, the name and number on the website. All right, well, thank you so much for being yes, with us today, Yes, thank Aaron. you. And stay tuned, we'll be right back.